Uh, yeah, go ahead. I just, I just flashed Ryan Reynolds. Please. Yes, do it. I've seen it all. Really? Well, you're an actor. Point. Theater. It's all theater. Yeah. Uh, We're rolling? What does that mean exactly? We're rolling. But these days in the digital age, it's actually an outmoded yeah. term. <laughs> yeah, it's like we're going to tape something. Yeah, exactly. What? Yeah, no, you're not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you like this digital age? There's a good place to start. I do like the digital age, you know. I like it for, for, for uh, filmmakers, yeah. certainly, because, you know, suddenly, you know, a sixth grader can be a filmmaker. It's exciting. Uh, yeah. And I think, I think the cost of, of doing a film will eventually go down. Yeah. And the actor salaries will go up to compensate. Yeah, maybe, yeah. You know. So there you go. Your lips to God's ears. You know, I was talking with uh, oh, uh, Sandra Bullock. Actually. Bullock, yes. And uh, she compared this film to a Tracy Hepburn film, mm. but your Hepburn. Yeah, I think that's about accurate. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a bit of a role reversal. I mean, I'm really kind of fulfilling the role that the that the leading lady would usually, you know. Yeah, well, up until a certain point. Up until a certain point, until the nude scene in the movie, yeah, then you, know, you realize I, that no, he's, he's actually a, he's a man. You know, I I know because. Uh, Physically, you and I are pretty, pretty much alike. Yeah, doppelgangers. Pretty yeah, much I know. Yeah. It's like looking in the mirror. Yeah, but, but there comes a point. I mean, you're a good-looking guy, and, 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 and women out there love you. But there's got to be a point when you're looking into a script, going a nude scene, and then when you go home that night before the scene, you kind of go, I "It's my butt up there, f yeah. fifty feet wide." Yeah, yeah. It definitely, <laughs> uh, it definitely does give you a, a, a moment of unease. But um, you know, I. I it's like it serves such a great purpose. I mean, the scene is so hilarious that it's it's uh, it's worth it. I mean, Truly. if it were just like a scene where I was, you know, w happened to be walking in naked, <laughs> and it was like this absolutely superfluous and ridiculous thing. Then no, I'd never have done it. But uh, it serves such a great purpose. It, it's truly one of the funniest scenes I've seen yeah. all year. I yeah. mean, it just is hilarious yeah. the way that it. It, it was it's funny to shoot too. I mean, you know, after the nerves and the weirdness got out of the way, you know, the yeah. the. the, the oddly getting to know each other all over again thing. Now, usually yeah. that scene is the first scene that, that uh, traditionally is shot so that the actors get to know each other, but I'm yeah. sure that didn't. Or it's the first scene that's shot so then the actors can then, you know, eat ice cream sandwiches for the rest of the movie. <laughs> Which is yeah. preferable. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Filming in Massachusetts, that must have been uh, exciting and yeah. fun. Yeah, it was great. I loved it. I, we shot in Gloucester and Rockport and Boston and uh, New York. We were all over the place for this movie. So Do you enjoy that part of your job where you get to travel and see new places? Yeah, to a certain extent. I mean, it's, it's, it's nice when you when you're when you're in a place that you can really immerse yourself in I don't like traveling to a city to shoot for a week and then a week here and then a week there and a week you never get to know it so um, you know the, the good news is about a shooting movie that's of this scope is that we're there for a while you you're know, kind, kind of a, a culture junkie yeah, you, you get like to, to really enjoy. enjoy yeah, I like to, I like to do the things that the people that live in that city do. So yeah, definitely everything from going to a ball game to just sort of walking through the markets, and you know, it's it's great. Now, do you prefer comedy over drama? I mean, or, or is it all the same to you? That's, I don't. I I'm lucky. I get to do both. So I you know, not everyone gets to do that. So I'm, I've been really fortunate throughout my career where I can kind of genre jump, so to speak, and. Uh, um, I, I I really don't have a preference. I mean, for me, I find drama is a little easier. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, comedy sort of, uh, you know, it's a, it's, there's a real tone and a real kind of musicality to it. But, uh, no, I, I, I love it all. I got one of these. What does that mean? I don't know. She's, it means Travolta lives? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Ryan Reynolds, thank I you know. so much. Thank you very much.